Ethan from Smashed AT here, just here today with a quick video on the differences between uh, an iPhone aftermarket screen and an original screen. Uh, some more information about what I mean by aftermarket and original, uh, as well as a uh, written explanation on all these differences. We've got a blog post up on our website, uh, which I'll link in the description for you guys to go through and read. Uh, but moving on to the visual elements, as you can see here with these two iPhone 6s we've got, uh, there is quite a clear difference uh, on the LCD. As you see this one here has the original, after, uh, the original LCD and this one has the aftermarket. You can see here they're both on full brightness. There's quite a bit of difference. So this one is quite a bit brighter and also very, very white. Uh, this one is not as bright, it's much dimmer. It's also got a clear so yellow tinge to the LCD, whereas this one's a nice crisp white. Uh, the other major sort of difference uh, that you can sort of see on the devices is the digitizer. Now, with the original, we can get that, can move that over, and that is a perfectly acceptably functioning digitizer. Let's see, it's going to go like that. As we test this one as well, we get the same thing. So it's it's usable. The difference being that. If I start being a bit more vigorous on this one, it reacts quite well. It's very responsive to the, even the fast movements, though it's not going to be perfect, for the screens after all aren't designed to do that, but it is quite responsive. Uh, whereas if we try this aftermarket screen, it's responsive too, but it fails a lot faster than the original. As you can see, quite quickly uh, stops being functional there. And those are the two sort of main differences that you can test straight away uh, on your device.